Hi right, guys, welcome back. As you remember, I did a night climbing video and I made clam strips. This episode, I'm doing part B of that same night climbing uh, episode, but I'm making clam chowder. So join me and watch me how I make my clam chowders with Northwest razor clams. <laughs> I don't even have pin yet. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks. Oh, there you go. These are the ingredients that I'll be making a uh, clam chowder with. Uh, bacon, thick cut, celery, butter, white pepper, clam juice, a medium onion, potatoes, half and half, all purpose flour, and the clams. Now I'm cutting the celery. I need one cup of celery. Now cutting a medium sized onion. Chop it up. I'm going to need three cups of potatoes diced. Now I'm cutting, chopping up the clams. As you can remember, if you saw my last two videos ago, I went night climbing. And these are the clams I'm using now for the clam chowder. Cutting the bacon now. The bacon, I'll be using the bacon oil to cook the um, onions and celery. And the bacon be used as garnish. All right, I'm using a soup pot to fry the bacon until it's nice and crispy. Then I will take the bacon out, put it on a paper towel to let it drain. Then I'll use the oil. So I'll the celery and onions. Now I'm going to saute the onions and celery. Remember, I use the bacon fat. I put three tablespoons of bacon fat to saute onions and celery. So the onions and celery are good. So now I'm going to add the potatoes. I'm adding three of them and I'm going to let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes or until the potatoes get soft. I'm adding uh, added one and one third cup half and half milk 
and the potatoes are nice and soft now. And then we're going to simmer it for a few minutes. Adding the clams. Melting the butter. One fourth cup of butter. And once it's melted, I'll add three tablespoons of flour and mix it well. And then once it's mixed well, I'll add one cup of half and half milk. I added the butter, flour, and half and half mixture into the pot. And now I'm letting it simmer for five to 10 minutes or to the desired thickness and it's almost there. All right, here's the finished product. I garnished it with bacon and now I'm gonna taste it. Hey, if folks decide to make this, uh, leave me a comment and let me know how it turns out. The recipe will be in the description, so just scroll down or tap down to the descriptions and I'll have everything you need to know to make this recipe. But now I'm going to taste it. It's delicious. I like this in Hawaii. Onolicious. It's very good. Until next time. When possible, go outside and explore.